want to make cannolis, but I don't want to make the... I don't want to f flash fry anything, and I don't have the tubes. So we're going to make mini cannoli pies. And that has nothing to do with Halloween, except that I have had the pie crust in my fridge, and we're going to use it today. We could call them melted ghosts. Ooh. <laughs> ectoplasm. Mini ectoplasm pies. Yeah. Sure. You can make anything work. Yeah. You can make anything spooky. Just name it spooky. Just name it spooky. All right, spooky pies. We're going to make spooky ghost pies. So what you doing? I am going to attempt to make cannoli pies. Mini cannoli pies. I'm going to attempt to make mini cannoli pies. How are you doing? Uh, well, I have a sourdough pie crust over here. Um, I don't. I don't have the rollers that you need to make the actual cannoli rounds, mm -hmm. and I don't flash fry things in my kitchen because I don't like fire. <laughs> fire bad. bad. <laughs> I'm a Frankenstein. So instead, I have uh, a sourdough base pie crust that I'm going to use. I'm going to mold these in a thin layer over the back of this muffin tin, and then we're going to bake the mini pie crust, and then we're going to fill them with the classic cannoli filling. So we're going to have a, I think it's going to be a nice interplay of flavors between the sourdough pie crust and the cannoli filling. And uh, it'll be, despite all of this, less work than a cannoli. <laughs> Just got my plastic wrap here. Eh, eh, eh. And I'm just going to make it. That just prevent it from sticking to the roller? Yeah, so we don't have to overflower it. We're just gonna make it nice, thin. That's good enough. So, that should be fine. We're just gonna drape it over. And there can be some, some wrinkles and folds in it, that's fine. And we're gonna do that 12 more times. So, let's get to work. The cannolis are definitely a, a sometimes food. They're very rich. We might have to find some people to give these away to, because I don't know if we're going to eat 12 cannolis. And so is your sister. She likes cannolis. She likes cannolis. She would. She might think this is blasphemous, though. Doesn't mean oh. she won't eat them. Be like, those aren't real cannolis, but then she'll try them, and she'll be like, can you make those cannoli pies? I know how this works. Now I'm you know calling you out, Allison. <laughs> you know your sister. Yeah. Do you have a favorite cannoli memory? I don't really have cannoli memories. My family always just bought cannolis, so it was always just part of like, there was never like grandma's homemade cannoli. It was, always, it was something that we bought when we were uh, at the, at a bakery where we liked their cannolis, mm -hmm. or um, as dessert in a restaurant that was like really Italian. Super Italian. Yeah, not just, you don't do it at, like, the chain Italian restaurants. You do it at, like, the, the mom-and-pop Italian restaurants. Because mm -hmm. they've got the cannoli recipes. I'm not going to say that this is going to stack up against the cannolis you get from, like, Grandma's Italian Bakery. But with my kitchen and my equipment, this is what I'm willing to do. So it's preheating. Yep, I'm just going to let the oven preheat. What's the temperature it's preheating to? 350. All right. Uh, these are going to be very thin. Uh, I want them to be crisp. So they'll probably, that'll probably take, even with the thinness we're going at, it's probably going to be like 20, 25 minutes. All right. Uh, again, we're doing an adaptation. Like this pie crust recipe is meant for a full pie. Right. Uh, we are doing mini pies. So we're, we're adapting on the fly a lot. So. As we'll do you do. See to my pants cooking. As we do. Yeah. What what ingredients do I have? I can make something that tastes. Something that tastes. Something that tastes. I didn't say it tastes good. I'm not gonna overpromise. Has a taste. I'm going to make something edible. That's that's good. That's my goal. That is good. Well, given where I started as as someone who cooks, making something edible was like a step up that's from the true. To cook. I have fond memories of the fire. It was not a big fire. <laughs> it wasn't a big fire. 
My wrist is already hurting from kneading the dough, so that'll be fun to leave her when we're three recipes into this shoot. I believe in you. Yeah, coming out really nice. Just drape it around. So this is, as you can see, we're not we're not concerned with them being perfectly measured or pretty. No. Just drape them over, and they should bake into little cups. Uh, oven's still heating a little bit. Once those are in, we're gonna make the cannoli filling, and uh, we'll show you how to do that. So stay tuned. So the recipe I have for the uh, ricotta filling for the cannolis, this whole thing goes in. All of it. All of it. So we should. I think we have enough for the twelve, right? Yeah, split the twelve. It'll be fine. It'll, It'll be, be fine. fine. It's a rich food. It's a sometimes food. It'll be fine. It's fine. Okay. So we set the stove. I'm gonna check on it in fifteen, so that we don't because we don't want it burnt. We just want it. Um, we don't want it too soft, and we don't want it burnt. We want it right at the crusty pie level of things. I don't know how long it'll take to reach the desired crispiness of the pie at this thickness. So we're going to check it constantly after 15 minutes to make sure we don't burn it and make sure it's not, we don't want it to, like, to be too soft and bready either. So we'll check back on this, but for now, the filling. You can put in your chips whole. Uh, we are not. We're going to chop them so it's a I think it's better for the texture overall. And we're going to put in almost a cup. It was pie form. And we'll just get these chopped. Low chop noise. There we go. So. It does, you can put these in in any order. So that's almost one cup of chocolate chips chopped <laughs> just different sizes we're not being we're not being picky about it no it's all delicious one cup of confectioner's sugar this is why they typically like pre-measure their ingredients on the cooking shows so you don't see them struggling with the bag like a dildo <laughs> <laughs> i didn't expect that i'd say dildo but there it is oh, it's broke Oh. oh no! Don't stab the ricotta. Stabbing the ricotta, but gently. Oh. The full tab broke. This is the best solution I have. I feel like it's not. Listen, I'm doing my best. It's a, it's a really weird world out there, and I'm just doing my very best. Want to put just a little cinnamon in there, just just a sprinkle. Like if you go like even half a teaspoon is too much, just a sprinkle. So what next? And now we mix. Just get it all, just want it all to be about the same consistency in the end. So I'm very excited about this. This is gonna be delicious. Like, worst case scenario, let's say the pie crust sucks, we just eat this with a spoon. That's true. Then it's cannoli dip. Yeah. Okay, we've put in the rest of our cheese, and we have a nice consistency, a nice color. Let's do a taste test. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you will be my guinea pig. Did mm. you die? I did not die. Very good. Cannoli-esque. Very cannoli-esque. Yeah, that passes for cannoli. And because we use this whole container, we can just put it back in that container. And now it's just the cannoli filling container. Actually, you know what? It's already in the bowl. I'm just going to pop this in the fridge till we're ready for it. I'm not going to hold that. Yeah. Okay. Because if I pour it, I know what's going to happen. I'm going to spill half the cannoli. It'll be a tragedy video. You'll keep it in the edit and I'll look foolish. Yes. So, I'm just going to cover the bowl and put it in the fridge. Okay. That works too. We don't. Let's check those pie crusts. 
Ooh, those are fluffy. I'm going to leave those in for another five minutes. It smells buttery and fluffy and delicious, but they are fluffy and I want a little bit of crust to them. Mm, does smell really good though. It does. So let's check on them again in five. Any more in there and these guys are going to get burnt. They're still a little fluffier than I was expecting, but that might, that might end up being good. Yeah. So. I made little bowls. We're going to let them cool. Hopefully they'll crisp up a little bit as they continue to cook outside the oven. And then we're going to fill one with our... I know. I know. Stop it. Then we're going to fill one of them with our cannoli filling. <laughs> Yay. Inanimate objects, man. They never listen. No. This helps with the hot. Just, just snap your fingers and it doesn't burn your fingers. Once again, do as we say, but not as we do. Just pluck in the pot. Don't touch hot things. Wait until things cool, right? Yeah, these are all completely cool. I could just hold this with my hand and not go to the hospital. That's, 100%. That's like being cooled down enough. Yes. So the trick to having cannolis around the house is uh, the filling will make whatever you put it in moist. So we're, we're going to fill one and we're going to test eat it. But we're only going to fill one and that way it doesn't make the other ones mushy. One at a time. Yeah, let's, let's try and... Serve immediately. <laughs> you don't want them sitting around. Mm -hmm. so, Alright, let me garnish that a little bit and then we will we'll have a test. Success? Mmm. Success. Mmm. I was right. The sourdough does interplay really well with the ricotta. Mmm. Mmm. Let me cut this in half and you can try some. I'm just gonna take. Just gonna, I'm just gonna take. You're gonna take? I'm just gonna take. Oh, you're gonna film me trying it? Yeah. Now we're both on camera eating. Mm. Oh, okay. good. <laughs> it's a little unwieldy. But it's good. I mean, a regular cannoli is too. You bite into it and it just, just det deteriorates into your hand. It just explodes through your fingers. I mean, aside from the part that breaks off, it's actually pretty sturdy. Yeah. It's good. Okay. Success. Cannoli pie. Don't tell me. No. You are gorgeous. Cut. Look at your face. Look at your face. Oh, cut. so beautiful. Cut. I will cut. I'll cut as soon as I'm finished capturing your beautiful face. No, not now. <laughs> not now. Why would you start now? The it's again. The cling wrap. The cling wrap's betraying me. Hello. I'm making mini cannoli pies. It's going great. Join me, won't you?